Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team, team of developers who work with Laravel and sometimes shoot demo videos and demo projects. And today I will reply to one of the comments on one of the older videos. Uh, so I've created Laravel 6 appointment system, demo project, and one of the comments was about validation. What about overlapping of meetings? And I will reply to Claudio. I already did, but uh, just with exact example. Uh, on that exact project. So this is the project uh, appointment calendar uh, based on Laravel and full calendar JavaScript library and you can add an appointment by going to appointments and do just add an appointment. Let's use form filler for that and the start time and date and end time is like this. So uh, our goal here is to check the overlap time. So what if there's already another appointment? And it's not so easy to validate in Laravel. You cannot just uh, create validation rule after appointment exists or something. Uh, you should have some custom validation rule for that. And in this video, I will show you exactly that, how to create custom validation rule in Laravel. To do that, we go to our terminal and do artisan make rule. Let's call it appointment overlap. It will create a file, a class in app rules folder called appointment overlap. And you care about two methods, passes, which should return true or false, whether that validation rule passes, uh, depending on value. And in our case, it will be returned true or false. And we check appointment in model where start time is this value and finish time I think it should be this one value uh, count equals zero uh, it could be it could be shorter but probably it's more readable so we pass that and in message validation error we should write uh, appointment Time overlaps with existing appointments, something like that. And then in our controller uh, request, actually in store method, so this is appointment store method, typical Laravel method, and we use request validator, uh, validation class, to validate that. And this is our validation rule set, and in the same rule, on top of require start time, we will just add new. Uh, uh, what was the name? Appointment overlap. And that's it. That's how you add validation rule. And let's try it out. Let's add some time which is overlapping. I'm not sure if this one will overlap. Let's save and let's see what happens. Appointment time overlaps with existing appointments. And if we choose something in the future, probably it won't overlap anymore. Let's try it out again. So we should test both failed and succeeded validation. Right, so this was correct. Uh, and let's do the same thing with finish time. That's the best part. You can reuse the same validation rule in finish time. So you also need to check the finish time, whether it's overlapping with uh, any of existing uh, appointments. And if we add another appointment where both validation rule, rules fail, uh, both will be shown. It's actually implemented in, inside of Quick Admin Panel, so in validation uh, results, this appears, and then on, on the bottom of every field that actually is uh, failed to validate, uh, there will be an error message. But this was the quick video with example how to create your own custom validation rule in Laravel and how to apply it in your request class for validation. Hope it was helpful. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.